Greetings and welcome. I present to you all my new bicycle car number 24. It's a further development of my old bicycle number 10 from 2017. Since ages now I wanted to rebuild this thing because I wasn't happy anymore with that design, full of edges. Those days I even enjoyed the overall color design, which isn't the case anymore. So here's the newer and improved version. There isn't any motor built in, and I don't plan to do so in the future, because it's just perfect. So without anything, that thing only weighs around 66 kilo. As comparison, the older model has around 78 kilo, an additional weight of 12 kilo to carry around. So I guess that old thing is just too heavy to fly off. That giant turntable like that red chair does. Regardless those undeniable physical conditions, I still tried to achieve just that. Well, it wouldn't work. Not enough speed and a very stable and low center of gravity. I guess. I equipped that giant turntable even with a release mechanism, which is activated by a pull of that string. I guess it's obvious by now that a 12 volt electric starter motor for my car is powering that thing. Whoosh! Just like that, it flies off like a cannonball. What was this video about? Let me... Ah yeah, here we go. When I was alone later, I even did go further with that turntable and equipped it with some old eggs. Don't try this at home, kids. As opponent, I chose my old broken remote-controlled airsoft drone tank. Have to admit that the spinning eggs scared me quite a lot. But still, me not that impressed. That's too little distraction to speak of. Back to the main topic. Centuries ago, with that piece of wood I tried to join the mining organization. Nowadays everything's gone, just vanished. Just some random pit in the forest. No one remembers anymore, well except me, who lives in the past from time to time. Whatever. You see me riding there? Here I come! Oh man, what a view to behold! You see me riding there? Oh man, what a view! It's so cool! See ya! You see me riding there? Oh man! What a view! Crossing that old mining company area again and leaving it behind me while I continue the test drive. What do you expect? No engine to help. Just one single gear ratio, so driving uphill is a no-go. While pushing it up the hill, I closely watched my steps. Furthermore, my naked legs. Well, because the top is fine, covered with some tube, but from the bottom side it's quite sharp. That would be a nasty wound. I created those razor sharp edges when I was still busy with the construction, as I trimmed the edges with a hot knife down. Anyway, oh yeah, found the next issue, that back mirror. It's almost useless, because I just see myself, can't see properly backwards. I have to fix that, maybe a mirror on the side or on both sides will do the trick. Other than that, it pedals just great. The 
the seating position is perfect. Yeah, truly a success compared with the old model that isn't drivable anymore. Oh man, the paved road is over. Now literally off-roading that thing. Actually I had to drive very slow because of those little 20 inch wheels that create quite a bumpy ride. Even with those vinyl records look great. They are not that stable and very fragile. A little mistake and I could ruin the whole project that took me 4 months or so to complete. On the other hand, those vinyl records are quite durable and unbreakable. Yeah, there are three different sizes of those. I mean unbreakable if you compare those with shellac records from 100 years ago, for example. They will break very easily if you apply some force. Yeah, with shellac you have two different common sizes of plates. In comparison, a vinyl record, well, ooh, some are more fragile than others. Won't break no matter what. At first I tried to drill the holes, but I discovered that they would easily shatter if they are already in a bent position. So I switched to a soldiering iron. But with the soldering iron I had the problem of poisonous smoke. I mean it smells very bad. That can't be healthy at all. So wearing a mask helped a lot. While building that thing I encountered some few setbacks. Everything looked great, while suddenly there was a crack. Great, now I can do that part again. Hopefully the record will be of better quality this time. But it helped a lot that I screwed everything together. Would have been a nightmare with pop rivets instead. That way it was more or less easy to exchange, exchange a broken record if needed. Of course, a hot air gun is also very helpful in terms of edges and more fantasia-like forms. From a technical point of view, if we consider its aerodynamic forms as well as its aesthetics, is there anything else, something that's especially special about that unique vinyl coating? Perhaps a secret stealth capability? Well, in the forest it's quite easy to see. Hmm. But what with its thermal visibility next to the old model, which is just covered with some painted aluminum? Well, there is indeed a little difference, but it's now hard to tell if it's that much of a deal to speak of. Hmm. A microscopic comparison of vinyl records and shellac. Of course, the grooves of the shellac record is way bigger than the ones on the vinyl record. But what with its radar capabilities, maybe those grooves could absorb those, so that a stealth bicycle would be possible to make. Well, it makes no sense if it can't fly, I guess. Back to the topic. Stupid.
are driving fast, it becomes a bit bumpy. Maybe it's the rubber or the wheel itself. Hmm, let's try if I can play some music while driving close to those branches and bushes next to the road. There are at least some pointed points that could do the trick. Nah, that's just stupid. The only music created by those records is that squeaking noise because they are wobbing against each other. Yeah, sometimes you came across some freaks on your day trip who literally own the world. So watch out for them, will you? Repair. 